What's up everybody? Welcome back to Smelly Belly TV. Today we are going to give you guys an update on um, our new dog. Hi Bo. Hi buddy. And well he's a puppy. I wish I had a little bit more positive energy. Things have gotten a little bit better but not much better. So we're going to go and bring him to uh, a new vet. He's going out of the ER and into a new vet. So come along guys, let's go figure out what's going on with them. We're gonna take you to another doctor, okay? They're gonna see you, yeah. He is not doing good, guys. Doctor uh, gave us the harsh news just now. He's He doesn't think he's gonna make it through this at all. And I know it seems like he just doesn't look all that sick from the outside, but this is a brand new puppy. Like, he should be up running around, gaining weight. He's been slowly losing weight since even before we got him. So he was already sick when we got him, and, and I mean, it happens, you know, it's nobody's fault, it just happens, but this poor guy is not doing good. Both of his kidneys are really bad. I mean, he's, from day one, he just had no energy, he would not eat, he has still not eaten in over a week now. It just looks like his eyes are so just, still kind of alive, and it just, it just looks like he can pull through this, but it's not looking good. So one of the ways I can tell that he's really, really sick is like when I hold him, he is completely limp. Like laying here, he'll move his head around and stuff a little bit, but his entire body is like a big limp noodle. It's so sad. I just, he's the cutest and sweetest little puppy we've ever seen in our life, and I just wish he would make it. We're gonna go to another vet and get him reevaluated. Um, but I mean, I think they're gonna have the same answer. Things are not looking particularly good for for him right now. We haven't filmed for probably about three or four days now. So. That was the last video we filmed. We were going to visit him at the hospital um, because we had to bring him to the ER on the third day of having him. If you watch the puppy surprise video, that was the night when we had realized, I believe it was that night, we had realized that something, was something wrong. wasn't was wrong because he had just been wanting to sleep so much. Not eating at all. We couldn't get him to eat. We couldn't Nothing. we could only get him to drink a little bit and then Barely. he had he had, he had a little bit of a kennel cough and then he that went away for uh, a, day. a day and then that night it came back yep. and then he threw up and at that point we decided that we were gonna bring him into the ER. So me, Jesse and Ada went to the ER. Alright guys, so Bo has not been eating or drinking. So we made sure to bring him into the ER because we wanted to make sure he's days. okay. It's like 11 o'clock on a Saturday night and he started taking a turn for the worst so we called the ER and they said take him in right away because he hasn't eaten in two days, three days. Yeah. And he said it's not normal. And then he started doing this cough. Yeah, just now. The doctor checked him out. From the outside, he looked fine. The doctor did say that um, he didn't look overly uh, dehydrated. He said if you pull up their neck skin and it bounces back fast, it, um, it's a good sign. So yeah, is going really fast like that. Um, he seems hydrated. He seems hydrated. No fever. They said we could give him some nausea medicine and um, take him home and wait and, and see. Basically, just take him home and wait and see. Don't let him fool you, though, guys. He's only taking a nap. <laughs> Napping. Otherwise, the other option was, which was more expensive, was to run the blood work. Which we did. And we decided that we wanted to run his blood work just for the simple fact of like wanting a peace of mind. Exactly. That, that's all it was, was that he was just nauseated, he was in a new environment, so he was stressed out. Um, so we, we just wanted a peace of mind that that was the only cost. All right, so Lazy Bo's got to get his blood work done um, to just be certain that he's okay, but the doctor checked him out, and he said that he's got fluids in him, and he's doing okay so far, right? Um, but we're going to put some extra fluids in him anyways. But he's already dropped, like, four pounds since, like, his last, uh, like, over it. the last month. So that's just so strange. His blood work came back, you guys, and it was, it was not bad. good. It very, was, very bad. They, they said, usually only see this in older dogs. So it was renal failure, which is kidney failure. Both kidneys were bad, 60 to 70 percent bad. And all the doctors were stumped. They were like, we've never seen this in a puppy, like literally never. Yeah, they had asked if maybe he got into some antifreeze Which or some would be sort of chemicals. Literally impossible. So we were like, no, yeah. never. It was definitely something he was born with. The doctors say he needs at least three days. 
three days of 24 7 fluids to flush his kidneys um at least at the very minimal so that was day one so we started um, that saturday night yep so day two sunday we decide we're gonna go he's been on the fluids for 24 hours now um they said his kids his, his lab work his kidneys are not getting any better but he was getting a little more energy yeah so we so go we visit a him a little bit of hope come here bo hey bo Tara and I went to go visit him. You gotta get better, okay? Yeah. You gotta get better, Bo. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get better. You gotta get all better so you can come home with us. You gotta eat some food. You gotta eat some food. Yeah, we're still not there. I know. So. His numbers are not getting better as far as his uh, kidney enzymes, which is what they're testing because his, kid his kidney kidneys are bad. So the numbers aren't changing, but he has not vomited today. He only vomited once yesterday. So mm -hmm. that's improving. And she said, the nurse said he's been more alert when people walk by. He kind of wags his tail. He wants more attention. You he's know, he, fighting. He's fighting. She says he's a little fighter. He's fighting. He was doing okay. He walked into the visit. Um, I have, actually I have a picture of him standing up. They had his little IV thing on his paw. Yeah. Had him wrapped up nice. And then, so we decided, well, we're going to let the kids come see him too. So we yeah. picked them up from school. We take the kids to see him because, you know, in our minds, we're like, oh, he, he, if he's around family, it's going to really uplift him and make him want to fight and get better faster. So that's what we did. Hi, Bodie. Are you happy to see your sisters? He just seems like he's just so exhausted. Yeah. He's so weak. Tired. What do you think? He was wagging his tail. Here, let his tail stick out. See if he'll wag it. Are you happy? To yeah, there you go. Everything was seeming okay. We've got a lot of people that love you, so we want you to get better. And Diesel. And Diesel loves you, and Enzo loves you. Not really, but... <laughs> Like they still want you to get better. They don't want you to be sick. No, What no. do you think, Rory? You think he's going to pull through? He's a brave boy, huh? I hope he does. He's very brave. And and very, he's very strong. We got some positive feedback from yes. the vet that there might still be hope. He had not eaten any food, but he did drink water on his own. And he was using the bathroom. He was using the bathroom, so those were all okay signs. So Monday, we actually had our hopes up that yes. things were going to turn around. And Tuesday, yes. we thought maybe... He would be better. He'd be eating a little bit, and we'd be able to take him home. We knew it was going to be a long road to recovery. Yeah, and we were prepared for that. We were going to put him on a renal diet. We were going to make sure that we did yeah. everything we could to give him the best quality of life. Bo, we're going to do better, buddy. You just got to yeah. keep fighting, okay? You're going to do better. All right? You're going to come home, and you're going to be you're gonna be pals with Enzo and Diesel, even though they're annoying sometimes, okay? <laughs> but you're going to fight through you can this. chase the chickens. Chase yeah, you can chase you the want. chickens, and <laughs> you can chase after Meatball, and put him in his place. I love you, buddy. And then Tuesday came, and, and his numbers didn't get better. The doctor again. called me that morning, early in the morning, about 8, 8.30 in the morning, and he said, I'm calling about your puppy. Um, it's not looking good, and I'm like, okay, yes, sir. He said, numbers haven't budged, and he started throwing up again. A yeah. lot, and he was not drinking on his own at this point either. We yeah. talked to the new doctor, who was the doc the vet that had been seeing him before we got him. So they knew all of his history. They had been keeping track of his growth, all that stuff. We literally had four veterinarians tell, tell us, us that basically there's no hope for this. It's puppy. more humanitarian to it's 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 a better thing to just let him go let to him sleep. Go. And so it was just like a really brutal time. I formed a bond with him right away. Hey, right, buddy, let's go. Come on, buddy! Come on, buddy! Come on! Come on, buddy! All right, Anna just got home. He just woke up. He's excited to be around. He was so sleepy. Um, we decided on the name Bo. We've been so. saying it, but we didn't ever, ever like officially <laughs> announce it. Yeah, but we just want to let you guys know that was his, that's his name. And... Time goes by, yeah, you. Running out, running out. Look, this is your new blankie right here. You want to come see? Change look. My mind about there you go. You That's I. your blankie right there. You That's yours I. now. So <gasps> would you stay there you go, buddy. Drink up. 
Enjoy, so sir. Let me pray. Let me catch my breath. Now I can't. He's got a waggy tail. Yeah, he's got a waggy tail. I'm Look saying. at that tail wag. He's got All a right, waggy tail. Alright, Bo. Time for you to meet your bed. This you don't have to go on it right now, but that's it. Congratulations, you did it. Nap time. I'm really happy that we have the videos that we do of him. It feels like he was in our life for a long time. Like it doesn't feel yeah. like it was a short time. It feels like I don't know. It's weird. It's just weird how spirits can come into your life like that and just change you. And yeah, and he felt a lot different than any other dog. Mm-hmm. He really did. He did. And that's why we were hesitant at first to really even film any of his sickness or film any of it. We were like, nope, we're just gonna not even do it. But you know what? It's real life and but, it's what yeah. we went through. And, and I think other people can go through the same thing and- Know that you're not alone. Like, yeah, it know that it's okay. It's hard. And that, you know, like, it was a very rough three days, but like, we all had our closure at the end. Yeah. And I was really glad that... I felt like it was worth it to have him in our life. Even though it was a lot of... I mean, those three days felt like a long time. Waiting hour by hour to hear good news. I just... Every time the phone rang, I was like, Okay, is this going to be it? He's changing. You know, I was, I was just waiting for a miracle to happen. I was just happy that he didn't have to die alone. Yes. So... Me too. We tried everything in our power to do every treatment that we could they said we went above and beyond like what a lot of people do or can do and we're just so thankful and blessed that we were able that to do it that it was like him. god choosing us to have him in our life just so that yeah. those last three days that he got he got to be with the family yes and he got to and he did not he got die to, alone he got to be outside he got to go and run and play and do the normal things that dogs do and like and he didn't uh, have to die in pain he would have been in a lot of pain had we not been able to give him the fluids and give him the anti-nausea medicine because his body was getting out on him basically is what happened and he he kind of like looked at me like with his eyes and kind of like almost spoke to me and was yeah. like like he had well, very you can see it in the eyes. other videos you can see it literally even yeah. in the thumbnails of like the photos that we took just of look him. at his eyes guys yeah. go back and watch the videos and look at his mm -hmm. eyes you can He's see so how sweet like, I've never seen a dog with eyes like that, where yeah. he was basically telling me, like, Something's hey, wrong. it's okay, like, you know, it's okay to, like, let me go. He was, uh... He did not deserve to die alone. He did not deserve that. He deserved all the love and everything. He was the best. His spirit's gonna move on, so... Yeah. You know, he's gonna be, like, in a new body, so... <laughs> At least he'll maybe he'll come back as like a strong lion or something. He'll live a nice strong. Who knows? Who knows life. what happens? <laughs> Hopefully he's just in puppy heaven, and we get to be reunited with him when uh, yeah, yep, when all that happens. But uh, yeah, we love him a lot, and we wanted to keep you informed. We wanted to everything. just film. We just wanted to be real with you guys and have the memories too. Like we didn't want to try to hide anything or like. You know, right. like, I don't have any regrets, like, posting our videos of him where... When he was happy. When he was happy and how much joy he brought to our family. Yeah. So. I mean, you can just see from that video when we surprised Jayla and Rory, it was just... It was like he just blessed our life. And I th Like, I think, like, we... We knew something was wrong, but maybe we were just like, I don't know, it's hard to say, like, maybe we're in denial, or maybe we just didn't want to believe it. I don't, I don't I know. I think we just didn't want to believe that he was sick. And so, like, I mean, it should have been a sign, because, like, the first time I had, like, some, I had, like, a piece of meat for him to eat. He would and, not like, eat he it. He just didn't, he wasn't, he would, like, sniff around the bag, so I was like, is something mentally wrong with him? Because he's just right. sniffing the food. And then we thought, well, he's just... He, uh, you know, he's just trying to take everything in. So he's just too busy to, like, sit down and eat. 
Yeah. But it wasn't that. But it was because a, he it would make him sick if he ate, and he knew that. He like, had a pretty awesome like. He had a pretty awesome life, and let me tell you, this dog was smart. He was already like potty he trained. He would not pee in the house. He would not pee in the house. Like mm -hmm. the minute we would take him outside, he would go pee. And he yeah. got this, he didn't just stay in his bed all night, like at about five in the morning, he would come up in our bed and he would lay with us. So I'm just glad that we got to give him that. And I'm so, feel so grateful that like he got to give us an experience and something new. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. Well, I don't got anything else to say. Me either. We right. love you guys and we'll see you guys in the next video. Mm-hmm. <laughs>